Hello guys, there is a new AI robot in town. Don't go away. Yes, there is a new AI robot in town. His name is Dolly, D-O-L-Y. He is on Kickstarter starting on May the 10th and I'm going to show you here the highlights of that robot. And this is where you should not go away because uh, you will see I'm going to cover that in details. Pricing, he has huge eyes. He has a backpack with a platform in the back that goes up and down. You can do coding with the app. You don't need the app for the robot to be autonomous. This is like amazing. And I don't use the word amazing very often. So I'm going to show pictures of what is on Kickstarter. But I want to give you a summary. Again, I don't want the video to be too long. I don't like a long video uh, on a single product. So I'm going to give you the highlights. And uh, first thing I want to say, the intro video that uh, Limit Bit did is amazing. It's a great video. And by the way, Limit Bit is a Canadian company. So here, I want to spend a few seconds on this first picture right here. So AI robot, obviously artificial intelligence, there is voice control, he takes pictures, he has sensors, he has cameras, uh, you can pet him. But look at the two icons on the right side of the picture. Contract free, you don't need to pay a, to have a contract or to have like a membership to or a subscription to have Dolly um, work and, and talk to you. You can also do some coding with the app, which seems to be great. They, show, they don't show a lot of pictures of the, of the app, but we'll see here. Now, if you look at this, uh, this, uh, uh, this picture here, uh, like I said, Dolly is autonomous, and you can do a lot of stuff, as you can see, without the app running. Again, you don't need the app for Dolly to uh to interact with you but as you can see you have also app based stuff so for example uh you can have uh, remote control which is interesting for the younger crowd but they can use their device and have dolly as a remote control car and you can also have the coding block based coding similar to uh, scratch on a pc so, and there's a picture, I'm going to show that to you a bit uh, later. So, two big eyes, uh, because of that, you can do cool stuff. And one thing is a clock. You can actually, you can practically use this as a desktop clock. So, it is useful. Not only a robot you can interact with uh, maybe just a few minutes a day, but you can have it on all the time as a clock on your desk. Uh, I'm going here page by page. I don't want to forget anything. Uh, let me see here. Uh, here with this picture with the little girl, that gives you an idea of the scale. And I think I have a second picture to show you uh, later. So here you can see the scale of the robot. It's not very small. Uh, in my opinion, it's exact the right size, exact size for, uh, for a desk. And uh, let me go down here. Just want to show again. Here, picture of uh, coding on a uh, tablet. And as you can see, it, it's a block uh, coding. So very, very useful for, uh, for kids to learn how to code. They show also here a video of the, of the coding on the Kickstarter uh, page. By the way, I'll put a link in my video description. Uh, you can use him as a timer. Uh, weather forecast, he can take pictures, and uh, like I said before, because of the big eyes, it's a useful clock at the same time to have on your desk. I'm saying that because it's one more reason to have your robot on all the time if he is useful, like in this case, as a clock. Now, the backpack and the platform in the back. This is a very cool design. With his two arms, he can grab from the back with the platform rising the, uh, the backpack and he can grab the backpack, which has uh, LEDs. So it looks like he's going to interact with that backpack. There's a little bit of a text here on the, uh, they call it also a smart box. 
uh, it has LED uh, lights and motion sensors uh, also so this is this is very cool this backpack idea you can change the color of his eyes you can change the style of the eyes um, he has lights also uh, at the end of the arms you can change the tracks to have different colors and back to that with the Kickstarter um, uh, packages in a few uh, seconds and he can self charge by himself it's that's a huge thing when he needs power he can just back up onto his uh, charger and uh, let me see here uh, let me see here picture of the of the app you can see here you have utilities settings uh, Blockly, which is for uh, coding, interaction, customize for the eye colors, and explore to use him as a remote control uh, car or truck, like we said. Here a picture of the different uh, parts, and here you see the torque lift. I call it a platform at the back of his eyes, so that where you can use or you can grab his uh, his uh, backpack. Now here, picture of all the sensors. I won't go through that here in detail, so my video would be too long, but it's a quad-core processor. It has sensors, touch sensors, edge sensors, two microphones. Um, it has a speaker, high-resolution displays, two. It's two separate display for the two eyes, uh, Bluetooth 5.0. So lots of technology. Uh, it's also a Canadian patent. Uh, like I said, Limit Bit is uh, based in uh, Toronto, uh, Canada. And uh, I think, oh, here, picture of all the eyes. Look at that. Apparently, they have about 100 different eye expressions. And you can see on this picture, uh, it, like, it's amazing all the expressions that you can have just looking at the eyes and uh, more videos and here a timeline so before i look at the pricing let's look at the timeline here so they had a few prototypes as you can see they have v1 v2 and v3 now they have a final version as of november of 2021 kickstarter launch was on may uh, may the 10th and they will have mass production this fall october they say around october and starting shipments in January of 2023. I just want to say, guys, that like, like any Kickstarter campaign, there is always a small element of risk. Now, the packages, there are three. There is what they call the Super Early Bird. As you can see here, you get a $100 US discount. So it looks like the MSRP will be $399 US. You get it for $299 and you get a as a bonus for the super early bird you get also a set of uh, track uh, tracks of different colors then there is the early bird um, same pricing but you don't get the backpack in this case and you have a family bundle uh, where you have two uh, dollies two chargers and two uh, backpacks oh by the way i just want to comment that these pricing may change i'm doing this video here uh, before May 10th so uh, the pricing may change if it does I'll just put a note here a footnote at the bottom of my video so these are the three packages there's also a bonus here if um, if the if the campaign reaches five hundred thousand dollars US half a million there will be a software development kit available or SDK so if some people want to develop like eye expressions, for example, or some specific movements, uh, the SDK will be, looks like it will be released at that point. So what's in the box? See the picture here? You get Dolly, of course, you get the backpack and you get the charging station. And again, looking at the design, it's obvious that Dolly will be able to go by himself. And uh, so that's it. So guys, I put the link in my video description because you need to look at the Kickstarter campaign because it has many videos which I'm not showing here. Uh, it would be too long and I don't want to do that. I would like you to go and have a look at the, at the campaign uh, for yourself. 
like I said, the first video is very well done. I am actually impressed by the quality and the footage and the editing of that uh, first uh, video. So overall, it looks like a very, very interesting AI robot. And the fact that it can be autonomous, you don't need the app to be running. The fact that you there is the option of having the app if you want to do some coding, for example, or use him as a remote control car, this is a great option to have. So I'm very happy to see that. Plus, it's a Canadian company. So, I mean, I'm happy to see that uh, also. So, guys, have a look at the Kickstarter campaign. And uh, I hope, just like me, you'll be excited to see a new AI robot. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye, guys.